Hello everyone and welcome to another Looker Studio tutorial. Today we are going to answer a very interesting question. How can we change the name of metrics and dimensions in Looker Studio? So let's say that you have a scorecard, you have a table, and you want to change the name of metrics and dimensions. It is super easy. I'm going to go straight to the point. But before we go there, make sure you like the video, subscribe to the channel. It helps tremendously to create new content. So thank you very much in advance. And let's get started. For metrics, you select the scorecard. You go on the right hand side next to the metric. For example, here you see sessions. You click the pen symbol and you type any name that you want. For example, we can say this is the new metric name, right? And that's it. So now you can see that we name this scorecard and now it's called, this is the new metric name. You can do exactly the same for any type of visualization. For example, here we have a column chart. We can click on it. We can come here next to views. That is this metric and we can change the name of this metric. And if you have more metrics, you can change the name of all the metrics at will, right? So it's really easy and straightforward to do that. Remember, if you forget, for example, what was the initial metric, you can select the visualization, come here on the right-hand side, click the pen, and here you will see source field views, for example. If we give it a weird name and then we forget what this is, we can easily do that. Now, how can you change the dimension name, right? So let's say here we have a table, right? And here we say session default channel group. Now, session default channel group is something that me and you as digital marketers, we know what it is, but the average stakeholder will not really understand it. So we want to rename it into channels. All we have to do is the same thing. We go on the right hand side under dimension, the green box we click the pen symbol and we will call this channel and that's it so now the first column here is called channel now some people may say oh can we actually change the name of the channels itself for example organic search direct referral no you cannot change the name of the channel itself you cannot change that because that's fixed that's set in stone you can create your own channels if you want, I have a video that helps you do that. I'll put the link in the description, but you cannot change the actual entries under the dimension. You can change the dimension name. Whatever is included in this dimension cannot be changed. If let's say this was, for example, let's say age, you can change age to whatever, let's say you like, you can call it, for example, age group, or you can call it something nonsense here, but you cannot go ahead and change 18 to 24, for example, and so forth, right? So that's just a note to, to be clear. Again, if you want to create your own channels in the previous scenario, you can create your own channels, which means you're going to use the existing channels. And on top of that, you are going to have some of your own uh, session default channel group. That's it. That's how you can change the name of metrics and dimensions in Looker Studio. So once again, all you have to do, select your visualization, go on the right hand side, click the pen symbol next to the metric or the pen symbol next to the dimension. And that's how you can change the name of everything. This is particularly useful now when you are using, for example, drop down lists. So for example, here we have a drop down list which is a selector, instead of having it called a session default channel group, we click the pen symbol, we say select channel, for example, right? And maybe we are going to have another selector here, and this selector is going to be for the country. So instead of the selector saying country, we can actually click the pen here, and we can say select country, right? So that's how you can change again the name of a metric or a dimension in Looker Studio. Let me know if you have any questions in the comments below. Thank you very much for watching. I have a great day in any time zone.